welcome back to another video. And today I'm actually going to be reviewing one of my favorite song artists of all time, Ozzy Osbourne. And this was his tape that came out in 1991, 1992, around that era. You have the live concert, which this also includes interviews and everything with Ozzy. And it's kind of cool to watch because I might try to get the DVD in the future, but for now I only have the VHS tape of of Ozzy, and it's just very good to have this. It's like a collectible kind of thing, because the fact that Ozzy is one of the most famous song artists of all time, and everybody knows him for his 70s band, Black Sabbath, then right before they kicked him out, obviously, and he came out with this when he was still doing the solo so yeah here's the side of the tape this is the live and loud tape so if you was wondering if you were wondering the song that he played in this concert was I don't want to change the world desire mr. Crowley I don't know road to nowhere flying high again Paranoid, Suicide Solution, Goodbye to Romance, Shot in the Dark, No More Tears, Miracle Man, War Picks, Bark the Moon, Mama I'm Coming Home, Crazy Dream, Black Sabbath, and Changes. The, the concert is about 112 minutes long. It, it was directed by Jeb Bryan, produced by Jeb Bryan and Charles S. Carroll. The tape came out in 1993, it's, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if, uh, what's his name, the, uh, the guitarist might have been on this album, I don't actually know, because if you have not heard of the guitarist for, for Ozzy, back in the 80s, right after the album Diary of a Madman, he, he actually got killed, and he was actually a young person, he was around like 20-something years old, and he got killed by a helicopter, a helicopter or a plane, I forgot, but yeah, it was a very sad moment for all of us, I bet, I mean, I wasn't around to see it, but I, I've heard a lot about it, and that sounds tragic, very very uh, depressing right there and Ozzy even said that his life was depressing he says that he said that a lot of times especially on how uh, he says stuff like that and that's Ozzy for you you know him I remember I remember hearing about it a long time ago they always thought that he was like the Antichrist because the fact that he bit they had off a piece dove and and well he bit the head off a dove and he hit bit the head of a, off a bat and the thing about it was that doves represent peace and him biting the head off it kind of made him the antichrist and that's why he made the song NIB when he was with Black Sabbath so yeah well he made that song at the same time we ran around the same era well Maybe not, actually, because that song came out before that, I think. But yeah, let's take a look at the tape. We actually get a sticker label. Look at that. We get Ozzy Osbourne Live and Loud. This is a very enjoyable tape, actually. I'm going to try to copy it onto DVD or something. Or I might actually buy it. So I can do an unboxing of it for you. If you guys ask me... I will do a complete rundown of my bootleg DVDs because I do have a lot of bootlegs and I actually, I'm gonna, in, the, in a couple days or so I'm actually gonna make a complete VHS collection because I just got all my VHS tapes from my mom's house and I am willing to do a complete rundown of all my VHS tapes. This will be in the lot of VHS tapes that I'm gonna be showing you, okay? So yeah, Ozzy Osbourne live and loud, everybody. So uh, hope, hopefully, um, hopefully you like 
subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. Please support my channel by putting like and subscribe. Subscribe and if you are an Aussie fan, make sure you always subscribe and like. I mean, you should subscribe to Aussie's channel too. I mean, if you're an Aussie fan, you should obviously you should obviously subscribe to Ozzy Osbourne's channel. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified for my latest videos. Man, I can't even talk. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.